Everybody, welcome back. Three day weekend. I'm headed out to get Lorraine. Lorraine's giving me fits. She's a little cranky. I don't know what's going on. The exhaust gas temperatures are very hot. No particular reason. I just noticed it on the gauges while I'm towing, while I'm empty. It doesn't matter. The thing is hot. Um, that basically means she's overfueling. I don't know if it's overfueling because I'm not getting enough air or if it's overfueling because I have an injector problem. I don't know. So today I have a boost leak detector. So I have a boost leak detector. I'm gonna plug that in. We're gonna run the test. Let's see if I can find a boost leak because that would make my day if this is all just because of this boost leak. I have a feeling it's an injector, but I don't know, maybe boost leak. Let's give it a try. Oh, the engine bay I know all too well. You can see I got a couple of gauges just I've been testing. So to do this, we're going to use this detector tool. You can build your own. I have this one from uh, Casey Diesels, I believe. I'll put a link in the video description. Simple valve, let air in, gauge to watch. And we're going to put this on the input of our turbo. So I'm going to get the air intake out of the way and get this hooked up. Sorry for all the noise. I got kids running four-wheeler, she shampoo and carpets. It's a disaster over there. Oh my gosh. I have the intake out of the way. I'm just gonna take off this clamp, get this off of there. And then we'll be able to attach this using the existing clamps. In case you're wondering, those are 516s. You're gonna notice something slightly different. Had to go make a modification. Put an elbow on it and try to make it tight so that it won't open all the way, but it'll open plenty for testing because this has to slide right in this gap. And this gap is very small, as you can see. And then you have to be able to put your air to it. And it just won't reach or fit with that going straight out because your oil filter's right there. So we put that 90 on there, and now my air will fit. So I'm gonna strap that on, tighten it down, hook the air to it, and we will begin testing. We are ready. I'm just gonna crack this open a little bit. We're gonna listen for some hissing. There's 10. Oh, my, something is... No, no way. Oh, I should have seen that one. That's a huge leak. Oh my gosh. Well. Yeah, I have a boost leak. There it is. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm gonna loosen this up and see if I can get that sealed. Oh my gosh, if it's that easy and that's what's been causing my whole problem. Uh, this is gonna be a good day. All right, more to foul. I got that one fixed. It's not seated straight, but I couldn't move it. I relocated the clamp, tightened it down, and it's not leaking there anymore. Now I'm trying to find additional leaks. First, when the air compressor turns on, you're trying to listen for leaks, that doesn't really help. So I'll try that again once the air compressor shuts off. 
Okay, let's try this again. hear a noise. I can't tell where it's coming from. It might just be leaking through uh, into the crankcase. Oh, there you go. I can pop the cover off. So I didn't put the engine at top dead center. So an intake valve is leaking, not leaking, it's open and it's getting down through the pistons most likely and getting into my crankcase. And then that sound I hear is it going out the uh, uh, vent, crankcase ventilation pipe. So I'm thinking I should put this back together and drive it and see what my temperatures are. All back together, going on a test drive, watching that number. Hopefully we have good news. Here it goes. done for today that was pretty much how you detect and then fix a leak on a 5.9 Cummins or really any diesel engine for that matter as long as you have the tool to apply some air pressure into there and then listen for it and address whatever you need fixing unfortunately that did not fix the problem I am still tracing on this engine although I should have better fuel economy and more horsepower now with that boost leak fixed I don't know how long it's been leaking for. Um, so I'm gonna have to keep working. So more to follow on that. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you feel like I earned it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to click over here, subscribe to the channel, check out our other latest videos while you're here. And we'll see you next time on Three Day Weekend.